Like the time you promised to bring back my van? Or my mini fridge? Or my good napkins? My lasso? My femur? Where's my femur? <laughs> it's just a fun line to say. Hello, my beautiful Maddie squad. My name is Madison Bruneller, also known as Maddie to the Max, and welcome back to me doing impressions. And this week, I shall be doing impressions from... The now Oscar-winning Pixar's Coco! I told my mom, yeah, I'm gonna go buy Coco, and she was like, wait, I thought we had some at home. And I was like, no, the movie, not the chocolate powder. <laughs> I can't tell if this makeup is creepy or cool. You tell me! If there are some other Disney or Pixar impressions that you would like to see me do impressions of, you can let me know down in the comments below. New concept, right? Here we go! Remember me, though I have to say goodbye, remember me. Don't let it make you cry. Sometimes, I think I'm cursed for something that happened before I was even born. I have a dimple on this side, but not this side. Dimple, no dimple. Dimple, no dimple. It's funny, because I actually have dimples on both sides. <laughs> so my life is a lie. It's just Dante. Never name a street dog. They'll follow you forever. Now go get my shoe. <laughs> Papa, Papa is coming home. No, Mama, it's okay, I'm here. Who are you? <laughs> that moment broke my heart. The first of many to come in this movie. <laughs> Remind me how I know you? We're your family, mijo. He doesn't seem entirely dead. He's not entirely alive either. We need Mama Imelda. She'll know how to fix this. You know how Abuela feels about the plaza? <laughs> you have to have talent to be in a talent show. Uh, should we tell him there's no restrooms in the land of the dead? We see them drink and we see them eat food. So how are there no restrooms? Where does it go? This doesn't make any sense. These are the things that keep me up at night. <laughs> No photo on an ofrenda, no crossing the bridge. Because I don't want to just get De La Cruz's blessing, I want to prove that, that I'm worthy of it. Oh, that's such a sweet sentiment. It's such a bad time! I, I cannot forgive you, but I will help you. I give you my blessing to go home, to put my photo back on the ofrenda, and to never play music again! What is it with Disney and not wanting people to play music, but in the end they play music? We've had this in like The Little Mermaid 3 and now this. It's like, what? Methinks there is a conspiracy here! I must dive deep into this and not return until about 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Family comes first. Good sentiment. I like it. Who's ready for some musica? It's the battle of the bands. The winner gets to play for the maestro himself, Ernesto de la Cruz, at his fiesta tonight! He will listen to music. I'm sure you understand, my friend. You are my best friend. I would move heaven and earth for you. Wait, wait, wait. So if Ernesto de la Cruz is the villain, does that mean that Remember Me is the villain song? What is happening? You're messing with my mind, Disney! Whose spirit have you guided to me? I don't think he's a spirit guide. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The alebrije of this world can take many forms. They are as mysterious as they are powerful. Or maybe he's just a dog. <laughs> Weirdest dog sounds ever. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie, the alebrije are super cool. I want me one of those. First, darkness. And from darkness, a giant papaya. Dancers emerge from the papaya. And the dancers are all me. They go to drink from the milk of their mother, who is a cactus, but is also me. But her milk is not milk, but tears. Is it too obvious? Let me know what you thought of that down in the comments below. And be sure to let me know if you think that Remember Me is also qualifies as the villain song. Please let me know that I'm not alone in this. Fan art of the week goes to lapidot underscore zero nine. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you would like, hit that bell icon and become a member of the elite Maddie squad. And from now until next time, don't you forget to keep smiling. Mwah! I have Jack Skellington in the TARDIS over here, and you know, you know he's gonna get up to some serious trouble. <laughs> Can you imagine the chaos? <laughs> I'm so sorry if I mispronounce any of these Spanish phrases. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I would like to thank the Academy for being awarded this tremendous honor of being the weirdest impressionist. Okay, bye.